Hello everyone, welcome back to another uh, YouTube video, or well, it's going to be my first one. Um, today I'm going to be shooting, uh, doing a tutorial on the control panel on Multicraft. Um, now today, uh, well, Multicraft is a control panel which easily allows you to control a lot of your servers um, at once. I use it a lot. I've also paid for it because uh, I think it's a really good and uh, trustworthy control panel. So yeah, today I'm going to show you how to do it. Right, you want to go to head over to Multicraft um, and obviously download that. And then uh, down I'm, today I'm going to be using the all-in-one. I'll do another tutorial on how to, where to get it from soon. Well, I'll, 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 I'll just put a link in the description. So yeah, today I'm going to be showing you how to do this. So right, so you want to download the all-in-one. Now, when you download the all-in-one, you want to it'll be in a zip file like this. Now you just want to drag that to your desktop and extract it. Now you have a folder like this, have stop start and all the other folders. Now you want to quit right as soon as you drag it to your desktop. Um, you want to go to your documents. Uh, or my documents you're using Windows XP, and you want to put it in your main my documents. Um, but it's it's not really necessary, but it's just easier. Um, and also, or, or just put it somewhere where you mostly can keep track of it. So I use this on my other server, um, which is on a different computer in the house. Uh, it's always running my tech servers and all that. So what you want to do is you wanna, uh, when you download this folder, you want to click Start. Now you see a lot of text, now don't worry this is true. Now if I ask you to access the internet, just click OK and allow it because it's safe. Just because it checks to see if you're with the latest version of their servers. Now what we want to do is, now, now that's running, this is the actual control panel now, it, it, it's running now. So now you want to go to um, Mozilla Firefox, or whatever you use, and you want to type in local host, hit enter, and here you are. Now this is the main control, this is the actual control panel. Um, of the multicraft now, I've, I'm actually connected to this. So, um, just another thing as well. If you want to get people to uh, access your control panel by typing in your IP, um, you go to your uh, settings and you port forward the port 80. Now, if you if, if you're using port 80, I can show you a different port. But anyway, we'll, we'll do that in another video. Right. So this is the actual control panel. Now what you want to do is you want to go to, let me see if I'm recording still, yeah it's fine. Uh, you want to go to login and then obviously when you download it, it will be admin and the password will be admin. And then obviously, don't worry about these, so just log in. Uh, allow this again, it's another website uh, protocol. Right now, see so you in. So now what you want to do is, um, the way you use this is you can make loads of servers. Now if you're using the free version, it will only be one. But if you actually purchase the key from the website, uh, which is what I've done, you can make um, more than one server. So you want to click on create server. Now obviously you do your name of your server, how many players you want. IP, you leave it as blank. The port, so if you're using, if you port forward the, the default Minecraft port, you do 25565. The memory is how much RAM. So it depends on how much uh, RAM your computer has. Mine has 8 gigs, so I could probably put uh, 7,000 or something for 7 gigs. Well, I don't, I'm not sure the exact number. You have to use an exact number, but I'll, uh, I'll put those in the description. Um, jar file is what, what you say if you wanted to use Techit, a Techit mod pack, you do uh, Techit.jar. So let's just do test. Uh, port, we'll just do 25565. Memory, we'll put just 256 megabytes. Jar file, uh, don't worry about that, it'll use default. Well, what, well, there won't be a jar file, but I'll just do this for example. Now you want to click on advanced options. Now, own a selectable jar is if you want, if you allow your friends to connect to the control panel, um, they can select the jar themselves um, and shoot and or change the jar. I, I keep this restricted because I don't want people using custom jars and messing it up. Blah blah blah. Um, now, also start is when you if say if you stop the control panel or close or restart your computer. As soon as you start it back up again, it will load all the servers you have. Now, I have this turned off because it, it stresses the CPU out. Um, now, this is the most, this is the part which people mostly get, including me, uh, get confused. Now, when you try to put a custom jar, you obviously go to, um, you probably go to Multicraft servers, and then obviously it'll be your server, and you make a file called jar, jar etc. Um, put your jar in there. Now, no, it won't actually recognize your jar in there. You have to go to server jar directory so then it will recognize jars from the actual server directory instead of recognizing it from the main control panel jar directory which is here. So I'm going to keep it as server now. So you want to click create, leave everything else as default, it's fine. Um, this is a tutorial on the control panel, not the FTP or MySQL database. I'll do another more tutorials on that soon. So here's my server. So I've created my server. Now if I go to my folder again, 
which is multicraft on the desktop. Go to multicraft servers, which is that. You'll see I now have server one. Now when I when it will be it will be what the hell um so basically <laughs> um now it will when you start a server um it will be all like the default files so you have your properties your world um basically it's like a normal default Minecraft server vanilla one or even a bucket whatever you're running so say if I wanted to run Techit I put all the Techit files in there which you download from the Technic and then obviously I just change the jar the jar file which would be say if it was Techit.jar I just put Techit.jar click save and just start it up and it'll be as easy as that that's how easy this control panel is now let's um so that's the server side uh, i'll try if i try starting at the moment i don't think it'll start because yeah it's not fine take a .jar. so let's stop the server now if you go to settings now you've got all these configurations um i'm not going to grab them today because it will take too long um but but it's it's literally it's easy. It's 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 what it says on the box. You just read it, and then if you want to change it, then go ahead. But um, but yeah, that's how to uh, set up a, a multi craft server. Now I'm gonna sh one thing which I'm gonna do is um, go over an issue which a lot of people are having with where they can't access the control panel, which I fixed. Now if you're using Windows Server 2008 or three or 2012, I believe it is, um, you want to uh, stop. Uh, Make sure there's no services running on the port 80 as, as Multicraft runs on port 80. So if I close this and I want to stop this control panel without causing any damage to the any, only one service, there you go, it stops the process. When you see this desktop or whatever, wherever your uh, Multicraft is saved, click close, that's it, it's done. So, um, so say if, you want to, if you're using a port 80 for TeamViewer or a web server, you can easily change this on this panel. You want to head over, I'll show you now how to do it. Um, you want to go to NGINX. Don't know what that means, but anyway, I don't even know what this is for. Uh, and then you want to go to conf. And then you'll see a file called NGINX.conf. Now you want to um, you want to download Notepad Plus Plus or any anything like Microsoft Word or something like that. And you want to open it with that. Now on the website it says it's on line 16. So if I go down to line 16, uh, which I should say is about here, yeah, well there, I'll do it on the side but anyway, yeah, which is there, you'll see it says listen 80. Now that's the port. Now you can actually change it to something else. Now I suggest doing what they say. You can actually change it to 8080. Um, and then I'll work off port 80. So yeah, that's just a quick story on how on the overview of Multicraft on how to uh, set up and everything. So you have uh, enjoyed this first video guys and uh, expect more videos coming soon and uh, thanks for watching today guys if you like my content please give me a subscribe or even a like, hit the like button any questions please ask me in the comments and I'll uh, I'll, I'll do either the tutorial or I'll go over it thanks for watching guys see you guys later